Thank you for joining us, and this is our part five of our teaching on the name of the Mashiach, or the name of the Messiah. And uh, I was sharing in our last session about the name of Jesus and how uh, that the that is not the name of the Mashiach. Uh, that's a, actually, it's hard for people to understand and believe that that's a made-up name uh, that's easy to prove when, if you just do your own research and study. You'll find out that the, uh, the name that's in our scriptures, in our most of your Bibles, that's, that's, the, that's not the name of the Mashiach. Uh, his name is Yahusha. And, uh, we, and, I, and I, I share with y'all in our last session that uh, you know, I understand how hard that is because it was hard on me to when, I, when I came to understand that the, the name that I had been told uh, was not actually his real name. Now, I, I was I was born as a born again believer. I'm talking about born by the spirit of the of the ruach of of Yahuwah. Uh, I received him, even though I did not know his correct name. I only called upon the name that I knew at that time. Now, Yahuwah, in his mercy, knowing that, you know, acknowledged, and I believe that when people call out to him, even if they didn't know the right name, if they know if they're calling out to him. You know, he 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 can, he he knows what name he's given us for salvation, which is Yahusha, which is Yahu interpreted, which is Yahuwah is salvation. And so when we call upon him, he knows he knows th that where we are, and and he is the he is the one that shows mercy upon us. And I'm not here to, to judge anyone. I'm not here to judge you or whatever. And uh, but once I came into a revelation and understanding that the Mashiach or Messiah's name had been changed and uh, the name of his father, Yahuwah, had been hidden from us. I mean, it really, it really angered me in, in, a, in a way, not, not at Yahuwah, but it, it angered me that, that this had been allowed by, the, by the, the enemy. I'm talking about not allowed, but the enemy had perpetuated this upon us, that he had hidden the name that's above every name. But... Uh, you know, once once you become, become into an understanding, and you really know from your own research, because again, I've shared with you, you know, this is a is of such importance, uh, important uh, topic, very controversial uh, topic, uh, that you need to ha be rooted and grounded in your own research and your study, that you know beyond a shadow of a doubt of the Creator's name and also the name of His Son. And uh, but once you do know that, and you're very, and you know for sure, you know that you know that you know, then you can stand against the attacks of the enemy. You can stand against those that come against you, and uh, call you all kind of names and whatever. But uh, it doesn't matter. You know what matters is uh, being uh, pleasing your he your heavenly Father, Yahuwah. And uh, so. As you begin to research and as you begin to do your own study, you'll put the pieces together and see the whole picture, how that uh, the name was hidden from us. And uh, but once you find out what his name is, then it's now time for you to move on and, be and begin to call upon that name, begin to declare that name, begin to let others know, begin to share with them what I'm sharing with you, that Yahuwah is our salvation. He is our Savior. He came, his name that he carried on the earth was Yahusha, but that name Yahusha is a part of the Father's name, which means Yahuwah is salvation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, one of the things I want to share with you uh, today a little bit and in, in more about is that the, you know, there's a lot of people who, who use the word that call the Mashiach as Yahushua, or Yeshua, and uh, we won't have time to. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have time though later to break down the Hebrew, show you the different letters, and show you how these other. Uh, and I understand why the confusion. I mean, why people sometimes get sort of frustrated and confused because there's so many people using so many different names out there. But you know, the Scripture declares there's only one name. I mean, either his name is Yahusha, or it's Yahushua. It can't be both. It can't be both of them. It's got to be either one of them as the Mashiach's name. And so if you study it out, if you have an open heart about it, I don't, you know, like for the first six months or maybe a year when I began to do this study, 
you know, my understanding was at a certain point, and this is what you have to understand sometimes, is sometimes you think you've arrived. I remember when I first started studying the name of the Creator, I thought His name was Yahweh. And, uh, oh my, you know, how wrong was that? You know, His name is not Yahweh. And, and actually, the more I studied it, you know, the, 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 I began to see that I was wrong. But you know, once I found out I was wrong, I didn't continue to use Yahweh because you know, that's what I had, you know, because of being stubborn or being prideful to admit that I had made a mistake. You know, I had, I had, I had you know, had, had t-shirts written up with Yahweh as his name. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I had to get rid of those and, and, and uh, you know, I had to go start over again. But that's okay. It's not a matter of, who, who, of your pride being in the way, you know. You know, as I began to do, do more research, to, to understand that I, I, I came to understand that his name was Yahuwah, not Yahweh. I, I first thought the Mashiach's name was Yahushua because that's what on the surface it looks like. But if you study and you do your and you continue to be diligent, see I, that's the thing about it. I was hungry to know the true name of the Messiah and the the name of our Creator. Once I found out that the name of the Creator had been substituted, edited out of our English translations and replaced with the word Lord, that really like ignited a fire on the inside of me to find out, well, no reason why that happened, and, and if it happened, then I wanted to find out what his, really his, his real name was. You know, when I first started studying this, you know, people said, well, nobody knows how to pronounce his name, which is the biggest lie the devil has perpetuated. You know, why would the Creator give us His name and want us to call upon His name and declare His name if He had never, if we never uh, were to understand how to pronounce His name? I mean, it doesn't even make sense. All this is man-made tradition that has been made up to hide the name of the Creator from us and to cause confusion. And uh, but as I said, you know, we're living in the days when Yahuwah is is in the process of the restoration of all things, and one of the things that He's restoring is the understanding of his name and making his name known to his people. And he's doing that the day we live. So, but these other, other uh, terms, like I said, Yahushua, the one thing that you, if, you, if you'll understand that the root, and going back to the root, Hebrew words break down into different root words. You know, words are made up in Hebrew by combining certain letters uh, uh, certain root letters or whatever that make up and change, di make up different words. Uh, but if you do your research and if you find out, first of all, that uh, if you look up, find out what the, the, the Hebrew word for salvation is, as I've said before, is Yasha. Uh, that's the Hebrew number 3467 and 3468, I believe. It's listed in the Strong's Concordance. And you'll find out the definition of that word Yasha is salvation, deliverance, help, victory, and salvation, Savior. Um, that is the meaning of the, for the word. It's not Shua. Now Shua is a is the Hebrew number. Let's see. Let's see where I wrote that or have it. <clears throat> it's uh, seventy-seven sixty. Eight or 69, 70, Hebrew number is 7769 Shua. You'll also find a variant spelling of uh, in Hebrew uh, 7768. <clears throat> you know, the reason why there's different uh, pronunciations or more numbers listed here is because, again, going back to these vowel points, these vowel points that the Hebrew uh, started using, the original text, see, in, in the Dead Sea Scrolls, the ancient in ancient Hebrew, there are no vowel points. In the original, I mean, the the oldest text that we have, there are no vowel points in the Dead Sea Scrolls, and because of that aspect, we know and understand that the names that were listed in the scriptures, <clears throat> each letter or each character of the Hebrew language had its each letter had its own sound that it would make. You know, later on, the 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 the, uh, the vowel pointing system started, and they began to put vowel points around the names, uh, not only the names, but of words, Hebrew words, which changed the pronunciation 
of the way that those words or names were, were said. And that's what's caused all this confusion, and that's what's caused the, uh, the, the hiding of the name of the Creator and the Mashiach's name. But if you look up again the word Shua in, in the Hebrew in your Strong's Concordance, you'll find the def definition of Shua is not salvation. The original, the definition of Shua is to cry out for help. That's what it says right here. I've got a copy of it. Shua means to cry out for help, to shout out for help. Um, another meaning of it is, uh, is, is the word wealth, is, is another meaning for the word Shua. But predominantly the name actually means to cry out. It doesn't mean salvation. You know, uh, and now later on you'll find certain words that say Yeshua, and I don't want to get too far into that because if I do, it's going to take a lot of time to explain all that. But, but what's happened over the centuries is that the name began to, to change because of these vowel points to, to, to sound out Yeshua instead of Yahusha because of the vowel pointing system. And certain, certain words that originally were Sha, Yahusha, you know, began to, to take on this sound Shua because of, you know, and, and you have to understand that Hebrew, that modern Hebrew today is a mixture of Aramaic and Hebrew. It's not pure he Hebrew. It's a mixture. And uh, through, through, through the process of time and through corruption, these names were changed and uh, uh, the way that they were pronounced were changed. And uh, we'll get into that in our next teaching. But I just want to mention that to you, that uh, the word Shua does not mean salvation. In the original, and it's an actual uh, text, it actually says, in fact, if you look up um, the Yahushua, as far as the Hebrew number uh, 3091, it will tell you plainly that it's from the Hebrew words uh, Yahuwah, which would be 3068, and Hebrew 3467, which is Yasha. So it tells you right there that it's the etymology of the root of the word Yahushua, which it says Yahushua, is Yahusha, and it's not, it, it didn't originate as Yahushua. It wasn't Shua, it was Sha. So we'll get more into this in our future teaching because we've got we have to go through this and there's so much to bring out before you and if you may not grasp all the understanding of this just stick with it you'll eventually get it because you have to stay after it to really to get to understand it and I want to encourage you to do so and I want to thank you today for joining us and we'll see you next time Shalom.